Welcome to Learning Coaching Methodologies with Dr. Paras. If you're a coach at a leadership position or aiming to hone your leadership skills, you'll find that the benefits of this video are phenomenal to your career. Team leading is a beautiful collaborative process just as coach would collaborate with a client. Facilitating effective conversations requires skills. The ARGRO model, reworked by Dr. Paras, is a framework based on the GROW model by Sir John Whitmore and his colleagues, and boosts your skills by creating an open space for conversation with the client. The R-GROW model is an extension of the popular GROW model. This is an extremely simple yet powerful model which takes you one step higher and you'll be amazed with the results. By using this framework with the client, you as a coach will be able to display great skill and techniques to unlock a client's potential, explore possibilities, and arrive at faster closures. Known as one of the most popular coaching frameworks, using the GROW model improves productivity, enhances leadership skills, empowers people while improving the culture in an organization. It can be used individually in coaching sessions or to coach a team of people. Firstly, let's understand the GROW model by Sir John Whitmore and know how a coach can use this successfully with individuals, teams, and work towards the benefits of an organization. G stands for goal. R is the current reality. O refers to obstacles and opportunities or options. And W is about the will. The alphabet G, which stands for goal setting, is about questioning the different levels of goals a client may have in life. The coach first works with the client to make them identify and set a goal that is challenging and aligned to one's motives. Consider asking the following questions to a client. What are you trying to achieve? Or what is your desired goal in life? What are you working towards currently? Does the goal fit with your current career goal? Does your goal match the team's goals? What do you view as a bigger picture? The first step takes a look at the future focus questions. The aim is to support a client through self-exploration, understanding and identifying goals, and then moving them in a direction that is aligned to their goals. By using this first step, you as a coach accelerate a person towards growth while motivating a client to think over their current behaviors. A coach can include additional questions, such as, is your current behavior aligned to the goals? Is the goal specific? Is it measurable? How realistic is it? When do you aim to accomplish the goal? Well, I'm sure now you have a fairly good idea about the alphabet G and the GROW model. Let's understand the second one, which needs to be followed after the first step. R stands for reality. The reality here refers to the current reality. Once the client has formed the goal, a coach might think that the next obvious step is to move towards that goal. However, there's one important step between this gap. That space is the client's current reality. A client who forms the goals also needs to question themselves about their current situation. Developing a complete understanding gives the client and the coach both clarity about the goal along with the obstacles that come along with it. The obstacles can be internal or external. A coach can ask these questions to explore the current reality with the client. What is the current situation? What obstacles do you see between self and the goal? What things are working for you right now? What things do you need to do to achieve the goal? What are the reasons for not executing the goal? What are the current steps taken towards the goal? What fears do you hold? What do you consider as a strong point? Hmm, I'm sure these questions have got you thinking deeply on approaching a client in a coaching session. It's wonderful, isn't it? It works towards opening up the space for self-exploration. Now we'll take a look at the third step, which is the alphabet O that signifies explore the option or opportunities or obstacles. It's about identifying strengths and understanding what resources a client has to explore the option. This is an important step to be followed post to the first two. This means if a coaching client has noted that the goals and current reality, it is time to explore the options. The options to make a client understand the next step required to reach their goals, that is. A coach can ask the following questions. What are the available options? 
What are the advantages and disadvantages of the options? What option can you choose first? What makes you choose this option? What do you think are your options if your success was guaranteed? What are the reasons behind avoiding some of your options? What are the action steps required now? Which are the immediately available options? Well, we now explore the last step of the Whitmore Grow model. W is the will that takes a look at the client's actions and accountability towards their desires and success. Now that the intention is set and options are measured, it's important to raise accountability of the client towards their timelines and commitment levels. A coach can support clients to take their measured steps and achieve the desired result. A coach can ask the following questions. What will you do now? What will you do to initiate the process? What will you have achieved until the next meeting? What will you do to be accountable? What will you do to stay committed? What will you do once you achieve the goal? What will be the first step that you take? What is the way to know you will be successful in achieving the goal? What will you do as the first step towards the commitment to the goal? The interesting mix of questions in the GROW model will help you to explore and develop personal insight along with those team members, coaching clients, and many more. Life leadership coach Dr. Paras has modified the GROW model to create an R GROW model that is relevant to the coaching industry. You can consider this an addition to the existing model that supports expanding the coaching mindset. R here indicates reality of the first step in coaching. When a coach meets a client, the client is often in a space of confusion, which Dr. Paras writes as expression within their own reality. There is a need to understand the reality of the space a client is in, allowing the client to unfold their thoughts, emotions, and actions. This is visible in the teachings of Buddhism, which mentions one needs to allow the cloudy water to settle. To make things clear in this case, it's about achieving clarity and refers to moving towards understanding of goal formation, followed by reality, options, and will. The coach needs to understand a client's reality in context with the goal to move them to a space of clarity. This step supports a coach to know where the client is stuck, what are the main areas of struggle, and move the client towards realization of their reality. A coach can create a space of conversation to gently support the client and understand these areas. The first step of the Argro model is important to ensure coaching or mentoring begins on the right note. This reality is explored generally in the first couple minutes of a discussion. A coach can ask the following questions. What are you feeling right now? What do you think you need to resolve? Where do you think you need support? What are the elements that are confusing to you in the mind? How do you think you can separate your thoughts? This supports a client to separate themselves from the attachment that they may have towards their current reality. This can be external influences or internal confusions that appear to make the problem larger than it seems. The Argro model, when combined with Dr. Para's TEA model, works towards raising self-awareness of the coaching client or a team member. The objective of using the Argro model is to support a person to tap the potential and discover their strengths to move with clarity towards the goal. This is extremely useful if you're a professional aspiring for a leadership position a coach, an entrepreneur, or anyone seeking to move to the highest level in life. Dr. Para's version of the Argro model is used frequently by his students and is also used while collaborating with his coaching clients. Well folks, that's all for the Argro model. Do begin initiating this framework into your work culture, and I'm sure you'll witness changes in behavior and performance. Thank you for watching. Best of luck in creating power-packed coaching sessions. But before you move away from this video, here's a quick exercise to reflect over your understanding of the model. Write down two to three questions which you would want to ask your client based on the stages of the Argro model as explained earlier. Contemplate how these questions would support a client for self-exploration and higher awareness. Say hello to Dr. Paris on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or visit his website at www m-a-t-r-r-i-x dot i-n Dr. Paris Wellness Private Limited is aimed to inspire self, empower others, 
and transform generations through their thinking, feelings, and actions.